Hello YouTube, it's the Card Butcher and today I've got a, another Japanese booster box opening. Um, so I've already opened two products which are the ones here in front of you. So I've opened up a Japanese Space Juggler booster box. And then um, the company I bought through, I bought the Jumbo Mew from V-Star Universe and yeah, it comes as a box normally, but we decided just to send the plastic inserts with everything else in. So I've opened this as well. Um, so I'll just go through what I got. Um, these are just the sort of like cardboard display boards. I might even try to do this at the end, to be fair, uh, just to see how the cards look when displayed properly. And then I've already opened the packs as well. So I'll go through what I've got there. So here is the beautiful Jumbo Me. Got this for a fairly decent price. I bought it straight from Japan. And we also have the Oricorio as well. I'm not normally a fan of Jumbo cards. However, these ones do look really, really cool in person. And they did when I was seeing videos of them online as well. But in person, like, yeah, it, it looks really, really cool. I'm looking forward to getting them up on display and everything as well. So, pull wise, I'm just going to separate the V's quickly. So, we got the Sky Tablet. I think that's what it's called. I might be completely wrong. I can't remember. I can't read Japanese either, sadly. We got the Origin Form Polkia V. Rayquaza V. We got the Latias. Um, Art Rare. Let's try to remember what they're called for a sec. But yeah, Art Rare. I've already pulled this one from one of my two booster boxes, but I love this art, so yeah, once again, I can't complain. And then finally, not a crazy pull, but I haven't got a movie Max before, and the artwork is really, really cool, so yeah, that's pretty much my favourite pull from the V Star Universe packs. And then we hit the Space Juggler Booster Box between me and my brother. Uh, normally when I buy packs I tend to open them with him. And I wanted to save one box for you guys. And then we open one box together. So, pull wise, I'll just do it in hollow down to the good stuff. So, we got History and Decidui. Togekiss. Um, it's not Irida. I've forgotten her name. If it comes back to me, I'll I'll say it. Oh, is that Irida? Yeah, that's Irida, and then the other one's Adaman. So yeah, Irida. Um, Bastiodon. Or Beetle. We got a really cool looking Mesprit with like a sunset behind it in the mountains. Um, Hisui and Sneasler. Then we also pulled the Origin Form Polkia V, Beedrill V, Ranguru V, Cleavor V, Heatran V, Origin Polkia V Star, and then we also pulled a Cleavor V for lot. I was hoping for like an alt rare. I pulled like two alt rares in my last two Japanese boxes, which were crazy. Um, I pulled the Yoga V O Art and a Paul Day Gallade V O Art, but I'm really happy with this. What I have to say is the Japanese embossing compared to English ones, yeah, it's on a different level. Um, I'm going to be opening a lot more Japanese boost boxes from here on out. I think I'm just going to be ordering them time to time, and yeah, I'll be carrying on with that. But that was the Space Juggler packs, and then some of you might have even noticed it over here, but. Here's what I've got for you guys. We have a Battle Region Booster Box. I'm just trying to find my trusty knife. Just to slash it open as always. Now I'm going to need somewhere to put all the rubbish. Move that over there to one side. 
Sorry, everything's turned into a bit of a tip. <laughs> but it's only going to get messier, so I'll leave it as it is for now. But yeah, fresh boost box straight out of the clean or out of the film as well. And I believe we have 30 packs. 20 or 30 packs. I think it's. I don't know. 20, I think. Yeah, we'll go with two stacks for each half a box, basically. And, um, yeah, before I get into that, I forgot to mention I did buy one other card uh, as part of this order from Japan. Um, got it fairly cheap. Really, really wanted this card. We got the Japanese Aerodactyl V Alt Art. Got it for a fairly reasonable price, compared, especially compared to the English one. Um, but yeah, this card is really, really clean as well. I couldn't see much issue with it. I think that was just a little white speck on the sleeve there. But yeah, look at the beauty of it, the way it shines and everything. It's just, yeah, it's beautiful. And all the other fossil Pokemon in the background as well. <coughs> so without further ado, we will get into the booster packs, if I can open them. Alright, so we have a Heracross, Quillfish, Rose Raid, Honey, straight into the Radiant Heat Ram. The Japanese Radiants also look way cooler than the English ones. The um, Shine is way, way better. It's a lot more noticeable. So, and then we have a really cool reverse pattern on these ones. So. We've got a Hippopotas with the trainer in the background, which I haven't seen before, so, um, yeah, very, very cool. So I'll put reverses over here, and then the hits there, and then we'll do a stack of hollows as well, and then all the normal stuff. So, next up we have Jinx, Hippopotas. Uh, Hiskrin Vasculin, Mighty Enna, I see something. We have a Samurai V. Really, really nice artwork there. And then for our reverse, we have a Roselia. And all cards for third pack. So we have a Lampant, Oddish, Vespiquen, whatever that is, we have a Pyro Hollow, and a really really cool looking Miss Magius Hollow, yeah I'll shine that properly for you so you can see the actual like Pokeball Hollow effect, it's a bit hard to see in some of the light, but there we go, all over the card. So we have Mistrevis, Barboach, Combi, Hippaldon, really nice looking Valplume, and Energy Accelerator, Energy Vacuum. I don't know, I'm just guessing random names at this point. If I actually got it right, let me know. <laughs> um, carry on. <laughs> little ramble there, sorry about that guys. Alright, so we have another Jinx to start off the pack. Pyloswine, Oddish, Basket Legion, Typhlosion V-Star, or History and Typhlosion V-Star. Colours really, really pop on this. Like, really, really pop. And then for our last card, we have a Lampant Reverse. So that's a uh, free hit so far. It's not going so bad. So the two cards I really want to pull from the set, if I don't pull either, I'm going to pop an image up either side. We've got the Starmie V Alt Art and the Garchomp V Alt Art. Uh, Starmie 
has the Misty in the artwork, while Garchomp has Cynthia. Um, both really, really beautiful cards, which is, yeah, why I bought this set, basically. I started trying to buy some Astral Radiance as well, but um, that wasn't going so well, so I've opted with Japanese boost boxes once again. Um, as I said earlier, this will probably be the way the channel goes forward, just opening Japanese products as and when I can get them. So, moving on, we have a Litleo, really cool ride on artwork, I love this one. Energy Doodah, whatever you want to call it, Rhyperia as well, to go over Rhydon. And a Weird Ear, and Reverse Honey. And on to the next pack. I'm literally just throwing the um, packets onto the floor where my feet are. Uh, best place for the moment. So we have a really cool looking cipher. Look at artwork on that. We have a routes. Yeah, this is another beautiful one with um, Mount Coronet in the background. I had to take a moment to remember the name there. I see something coming. Uh, we have a pilot swine and a mammo swine, and we have a history and decidueye as well, and a relicant reverse. Yeah, so we've got two of the three starters so far, now we just need the um, History and Typhlosion standard V-card, which is my favourite out of the three as well. I really didn't like Typhlosion Evolution at first, but um, eventually caught a shiny and it grew on me, so uh, yeah, that's the one I'm really hoping to get as a standard V-card anyway. Let's pack it open. Okay, so moving on, we have a Gloom, so the artwork, the artist for this card I absolutely adore, it's one of the Komiya cards, he does this like really funky art style and yeah this is a good example of it, I'll pop a few others up as well, uh, just around here somewhere, oops I didn't mean to hit the camera but just around here somewhere I'll pop up a few examples of Komiya artwork and uh, yeah let me know what you think about it in the comments. Uh, next up we have Lampent, um, I can't remember her name, Silas, Cyrus, no it's not Cyrus, something, <laughs> uh, Relicanth, and then our hollow is a Keldeo hollow, walking across a river, or pond, lake, oh, here we go, we also got a character rare, weird here as well. I thought there was something that was, that was meant to be in this set. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've got our first art card from the set. Or character card. I'm really happy with that. So that takes the space of the reverse as well. But what a great compromise for reverse hollow. We've got a really, really sweet looking artwork there. And we're still not even halfway through the box and we've already got so many cool, cool cards. Let's see how the rest of the box goes. So, next up we have a History and Quillfish. Heracross with that beautiful artwork. Rhyhorn. Let's pick one. Ooh! Okay, that's sick. That's, that's dope. I'm happy with that. I haven't actually pulled any gold Pokemon cards yet. Uh, we've got the Roxanne as well. Um, <laughs> okay, I didn't expect to pull a gold card, but I'm happy with a gold card. Uh, so we've got the gold Hisuian Samurot. I'm just trying to remember where I've left all my sleeves now, because I'm looking around and I don't see any anywhere. Um, that is quite worrying. I'm just holding it up <laughs> while I find a card to... Decent even and sleeve this one of it. <laughs> yeah, so there's a history and samurai. That's going right up there. Best card in the box so far.
So to finish off the first half of the box, final pack for the first half. So we have a Who's Hoots, Curlia, um, Sands Gem Village, Hisswing Quillfish, Nil Tank Hollow, which is really really cool artwork once again, and a Combi Reverse. So starting off the second half of the box now as well. We have a Swine Up, Hippopotas, Glamial. I love that you can see the um, pincer horns in the sea there as well, like in the game. Uh, History and Basque Legion, I think this is what I wanted. Yeah, there we go, we've got the History and Typhlosion V. That was my favourite artwork of the three, so I'm glad I've got that. And then, I've already got this, but once again, really happy to have it again. We've got the Hoot Hoot character card. I bought this from, uh, for a couple quid on eBay a while back. Um, the artwork's just super, super simplistic, but super, super cool. Very beautiful. Next up we have a Litwick, Puccina, Rose Raid, Tomado, Absol Hollow, very very nice with a sky behind it, and a Noctowl Reverse. Next up we have a Roselia, Swinub, Litlio, Miss Magius, so I'm just getting my right hand sorted out, <laughs> Cleavor, Hollow, and then a Barboat Reverse. That's the fourth Cleavor I've had today by the way, so I've got the V, the V Star and the V Full Art, and now I've got a normal Hollow as well. Seems like it's a Cleavor day today guys. <laughs> And moving on. So we have Roselia, Stantler, Noctowl, Honey, and we have a Hiswian Decidua IV star. Once again, very, very cool. Lovely texture on it as well. And here's one I wanted. So we've got the uh, Chandelure character card with um, Chantal from the Elite 4 in black and white and black and white too so we have Hisswing Quillfish Combi Perugly Whiskash, Gallade Hollow, this one's beautiful, absolutely adore this card with the moon behind it, and we have a Jinx Reverse. So we're down to the last five packs, last core of the box, so hopefully we can pull the Starmie or the Guard Trump. I'm not holding out too much hope either way, but I'm happy with that Gold V Star still, so... No biggie if not, but it would be very nice. So we have a Litwick, Routes, Cypher, Roxanne, Chandelure, which goes with a character card, and a Rhyperia Reverse. I'll just show them up together as well actually. So there's the two together. Okay, so Hiswian Basculin, Pucciina, <coughs> Hiswian Overquill, 
Vespaquin. There's the lovely Volplume again. And the Gleam to go with it. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> so that's the first double of the box so far. In terms of like hollows or hits or whatever. And moving on, we have a Glamial, Curlia, Litwick, Energy, whatever, Starmie V. Not one we're looking for, but it's Starmie either way. And a Standler Reverse. Down to the last two packs. So we're going to end up being like last pack magic or something. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. So we have a Barboach, Gloom, and, uh, Miss Magius, so leaves my word in there, Mighty Enna, Dianti, and History and Overquill. And can we get Lost Pack Magic? Can we get something else cool at least? Something better than a Hollow, I hope, but once again, if not, no biggie. So we have a Litleo, we have a Rhyhorn, Jinx, Rhyperia, and we've got a Virizion V, and a Commando Reverse. So, just a quick recap, guys, where everything pulled from the box today. I'll go over the reverses, the hollows, Vs, radiance, etc, etc. So, going through reverses quickly, we've got Kamado, Overquill, Stantler, Gloom, Rhyperior, Jinx, Barboach, Noctowl, Combi, Roxanne, Relicanth, Honey, uh, Lampent, Energy, whatever that is, <laughs> as I keep calling it, Miss Magius, Roselia, Hippopotas, and that's it for reverses. Hollows, we have Fianchi, Valplume, Chandelure, Gallade, Cleavor, Absol, Miltank, Keldeo, Weirdir, Valplume again, and Pyral. And then for the actual hits of the box, we have a Radiant Heatran, we have a Weirdir character card, Hoot Hoot character card, Chandelure character card. We've got all three start of these. So we've got History and Samurott, History and Decidueye, and History and Typhlosion. We've then got Verizion V and Starmie V. And then we've got two of the three V stars in normal V star anyway. So we did actually technically pull all three. So here we have the Typhlosion V star and uh, Decidueye V star. And then to follow that up, we had the gold rare version of the Samurott V star. So normally this would be like black and the normal non-shiny colour for Samurott, but we pulled it even called a gold version. So yeah, not complaining, that's a really really cool box. So that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching. Um for those of you who've come over from Instagram, thank you as well. Um and good luck to all of those entering my four hundred follower giveaway over on Instagram as well. I'll pop the link in the bio or description of this video and you're more than welcome to go and enter as well and test your luck. So thanks again guys and have a good day.